so you might not realize this, but things are getting crazy expensive. And so I thought it would be a good idea if I just uh, once a week or so uh, put out a video to try and give ideas of how you could save some money. Um, I'm definitely not like um, you know the financial guru or anything, but I noticed that there's a lot of things that, that we all do that – I mean, we could definitely save some money by, you know, stop doing them. And especially with things like this, I've got five kids, I've got a house payment, you know, all these different things. And, you know, it's one of those, I'm not, I'm not in, I pay off all my school debt, so I don't have any school debt. Um, I, I fully own my vehicle, so that's a good thing. Uh, you don't really anticipate an economic collapse. But uh, when you get into these kinds of situations, it's really important to maybe do a restock and, and just see if you can squeeze pennies anywhere. Because you might think, oh, well, this bill isn't that big of a deal. But the more of those things that you get rid of, the more it makes it where, I mean, a dollar here, a dollar there, it, it really does add up. Um, so I wanted to try and help uh, you guys. And, and I want to also say on this, um, if you have any ideas about stuff that I did not mention, please post them in the comments below. Um, I think that we can all uh, help each other to get through these very eesh, times, um, especially because we don't know if the situation is going to get worse or not with different events and whatnot. Um, and if they do, it would be nice you know, to kind of start heading in the direction of financial stability now. Um, so uh, what I want to talk about today is called reducing your expenses. Okay, So basically in any cost uh, analysis, anytime you're looking at your finances, right? You, you have your total income and your total expenses, right? And usually, for most people, the expenses outweigh the income. Usually. Um, credit card debt and school loans and mortgage and so on and so forth. If you were to right now take inventory and pay off all of your debts, you don't have enough to cover those, usually. Now, some people are the exception, but... Tip, in typical American culture, um, maybe you have a lot of outstanding credit card debts and stuff, okay? So here, that's just kind of what my example is. So the thing I want to talk about today is extremely simple, but we oftentimes just don't even think about it, and that's reducing your expenses. Oh, I, I need more money. I need to work more. I need to go. I'm not saying no to all those things. Increasing your income is one way to help, absolutely. But I think one of the things that's, that's really overlooked is reducing – sorry, that's my dog – um, reducing your expenses. So um, just some ideas here. Number one, you could cancel your stream, any streaming services you have. And you, you might think, that's not that, that expensive. Yes, but it does add up. Um, if you go out to Starbucks every day, for instance, and get a coffee. Um, I mean, I love getting fun coffees from places too. Uh, me and my wife, every time we go somewhere new, we, we, we go to like, you know, the local um, tea places and we have a lot of fun. We, we got this one out uh, in Arizona we were just driving through, it was just like some potent town, but it was the local haunt, and it was super good uh, coffee. I got tea, I always get tea. Um, with colitis, you're not supposed to drink a whole lot of caffeine, and definitely not supposed to have alcohol or anything, so I, I've got to really watch what I drink, but, um, you know, she always gets the coffees and that kind of stuff. Uh, I remember there was another place in El Paso that we went to, it just, it, they took a, they took a train uh, box and they turned it into a coffee shop. It was really cool. Uh, I think it was called the coffee box if I remember correctly But uh, just really fun stuff like that. So I mean I love doing stuff like that, but when we're in the middle of um, kind of economic problems Maybe a better option would be to just make coffee at your house uh, Coffee machines don't cost that much uh, if you don't have one already most people already do you can even get used ones um, Sometimes for cheaper depending on how you feel about that. Sometimes people don't feel real comfortable whatever um, and you can get uh, uh, coffee like it, Folgers, for instance, and it doesn't. You don't have to necessarily be like in love with it. Maybe even cut out caffeine for a little bit. I mean, I don't know. Uh, find out whatever whatever works for you, but just some way to to lower down that cost. Because I mean, it, oh, it's only three or four dollars, and that, that's absolutely true. It is only three or four dollars, but three or four dollars, like you know, a bunch of times <laughs> throughout the week, really does add up. Um, and if you if you don't believe me, just Take um, take your credit card statement and go through and take all your non um, non essential spending. So buying coffee, uh, paying for Hulu or Netflix or cable or whatever, um, your internet, uh, your cell phones. You know, take all that and put it together and see how much of your income is going out in that. 
you know, if we're really honest with ourselves, sometimes we get things that we don't really need, and it's like we have to get the best and the newest, and we have to like – it's almost like we're trying to impress people or something, and it's like, well, we don't really need that though, do we? Like, oh, I have a computer that I could look on the internet with, but instead I want a smartphone because why? See what I mean? Phones are for calling in case of an emergency, and once again, you don't really don't – have to have it. So whereas your kids might get upset at you for maybe not giving them their texting and all that stuff or their internet access or whatever, they'll get over it. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to to make it through. Um, and especially nowadays, I, people are really going to be losing their houses a lot. A lot you're going to see a lot of repositions because people are overextending themselves and the economy is collapsing. So this is kind of the time that you want to be kind of taking stock. So look everywhere you can and try to reduce your expenses. Maybe uh, don't pay for the ad free. Um, I mean, it's just a couple bucks there, and you could still have your streaming service. Maybe instead of going to going from like four streaming services, just pick one and do that. Keep your eyes out for free trials, that kind of stuff. Um, really save any money you can. Uh, another idea that I had uh, to reduce your expenses is to park your car. Just park it, turn it off. Uh, I see people. I, I live by a, a housing development that is for people who don't have a whole lot of money, um, aren't as well off, and um, it's like right across the street. Uh, and what I see is these these people who do not have money driving back and forth all day in their cars, and it's just like, you know, a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there, but it really adds up, and it in the long run, it really eats up a lot of gas, and their car is already like worn out. And it just adds a little bit of extra wear and tear. And in their heads, and I always talk to them about this, why don't you just turn your car off? I mean, the store is right there. You can you can walk there in five minutes. Well, you know, first off, they, they, they want to drive up with their music on, which, once again, I like music too, but I don't like listening to music for the sake of other people thinking that I'm cool. <laughs> I, I do it for the sake of me. Um, and, you know, I... It, there's nothing wrong with walking. There's nothing wrong with being smart with your money. Um, gas is extremely expensive right now. I have a freaking huge van. Uh, it's one of those Ford Transits, and uh, uh, it got it, It's not the best gas saver. <laughs> and then to fill it up, I mean, it costs a lot of money. I've actually gotten where I don't even fill it up any anymore until gas goes down. I don't. I I, I weigh out how much gas I need. And then I fill up to that amount, and then that's it. And I, I used to always round it, round it up to the nearest dollar, and doing God's work. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, um, you know, I, I had to stop doing that. And now it's like, okay, yeah, I reached however much I need. That's it. And um, you know, you might not like that. It's inconvenient. It definitely is inconvenient. But it can save you some money. Um, and some alternatives are you can you can walk. Um, you can get a bike and, and, and bike. Now, you don't have to get like a really good bike. Like I, I only ride treks. I just love the way that they ride. But I, I'm really into biking. And I bought them back when, you know, things weren't so tight. <laughs> Some important points here. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with picking up a $20 bike and using it just to bike to the store. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, get a backpack and put your groceries in there. Um, Say stuff like that. Anything that you can you can do um, to kind of just keep it where your your, your car is not getting the wear and tear, the tires aren't getting worn out, you're not using up the gas. You don't have to change oil if you don't <laughs> drive. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so it, where I live, there's actually a public transport, a tr public transportation bus, where it's one dollar to ride, and they'll take you to the next town, either that way or that way. And so I, we don't even have to like drive to work it, it, I mean how much more can you ask for and you might feel a little bit eh, I really like my privacy I'm not talking about what, what you like I'm talking about reducing your expenses so that you can make it through so that you will still have your house or your if you're renting or whatever at the end of the month that you'll be able to make your payments you know um, also there are um, places usually in, in any community that will help people who are um, don't have um, don't have as much uh, you know, financially, uh, where they'll help them maybe with their bills or different things like that. Um, maybe food pantries where you don't have to buy as many groceries. Um, sometimes it's like WIC and food stamps. There are different options. So look into your area and see um, what you can do there. And don't take advantage of it, you know. Um, sometimes people make it where it's a whole scam, you know, and they just put their whole effort into trying to get as much money from other people without having to work as possible, and that's not cool. Like, come on. There's people who are really in need, and, and you're taking advantage of people who, who feel guilty. 
that, that's that's not good anyways um, another thing you can do is have a shopping day sometimes we just go to the store whenever the heck we feel like well when you have a shopping day it makes it where you don't keep going out you don't keep buying stuff that you don't need what we do is we wait till we're hungry then we go to the store and then we buy not what's the smart thing to buy we just buy because we're hungry so we spent so much time shopping that we buy a pizza because we don't want to make the food that we just bought you see what I mean? Um, another thing is, okay, well, you know, it's late. I don't really want to cook any of this stuff. Let's just go get something else. Let's let's, let's go out and, you know, and so then we go and we're shopping and we're hungry. So we buy something. We're like, oh, that was a good snack. Oh, here's another good snack. And we just kind of, it's not healthy for us physically, but also it's just kind of driving up the cost. Have a list. Know exactly where you're going. Go straight there and get it. If you see that cute clothes or whatever, leave it alone. If you see, you know, a video game that you really want it, leave it alone. We can make it through this. We can. It's not hopeless. It's going to take some time, though, to bounce your finances back. And the first thing is reducing your expenses. It's a real simple thing that we look over. Um, don't, um, um, I already mentioned all that. Uh, another thing is do not go out to eat. Sometimes we think, oh, well, it's it, it's cheaper to get to, to, to order out than it is to um, to cook at your house. First off, that's not true. <laughs> if that is true, you're definitely not shopping right. <laughs> like you, you need to be looking for better deals than that if that's if that is true. Second off, maybe that would have been true if it wasn't for the sake of that you're getting it delivered as well. And the Uber driver does charge more. So once again, these, these are things where it's like we kind of lie to ourselves to make ourselves feel better. Here's the thing. Go shopping once a week. Get the get, know what you're having for the rest of the, of the week and buy those meals and buy just those meals <laughs> and then make them. And if you if you're having a hard time um, planning out your budget for shopping, um, you know, find some way to, to learn. Um, there, there are apps you can use to save money. There's coupons. There's all kinds of different things you can do. I actually might have my wife um, get something together to, to give ideas about that. Um, but saving money when you're shopping. Um, another thing that you can do is take a look at your monthly bills. Take like the last three months and prioritize all your bills. Take every single expense and prioritize them. These are the essentials like mortgage, um, electric and gas and water. Um, okay, those are your, your essentials. Then you put things that are uh, commodities that you don't have to have like internet, um, the cell phone plan that you have, the cell phone that you have, the cell phone payments that you have, that um, cable or, or streaming services or anything like that. Um, maybe you need to cut back on what you're what you're buying with video games or books or whatever. Um, just take an inventory of all that, and then there's the things that are just straight up wastes. Like I didn't feel like going and getting food, so I got Uber. Well, sometimes that makes sense, but a lot of times it's just us being lazy, and so we're paying more for our laziness. And it's like, well, in the middle of an economic collapse, isn't the time to always opt for what's comfortable? Sometimes you have to do something you don't want to to save a little bit of money. And uh, I grew up in Southern California. I grew up very poor in Southern California. Um, and we just did without, and you get used to it. Um, in fact, it, it, it's actually... It was kind of weird having enough to, to just buy the food that I actually wanted to have instead of just eating the same thing over and over again. Um, another thing is the price of meat has gone crazy high. So what you excuse me, what you can do is you can actually pay for a cow straight from a ranch or if you can find a good good deal and get it um, what's it called um, uh, butchered and you you pay for it that way and you just having a freezer space this is actually what I do it's so much cheaper than meat and if you go to the store right now and try to get beef it's crazy expensive um, I mean just like insanely expensive um, you instead of try having to buy chicken that's been processed from the store maybe try raising and butchering your own chickens I don't know how you feel about that I tried it I wasn't a huge fan <laughs> um, the smell of, of blood kind of gets to you and uh, if you can't find a way to kind of cope with it, it's a little bit harder to actually eat the meat afterwards. So, I mean, that might be, not be for everybody, but, you know. Um, so take a look at your monthly bills, prioritize them, and cut everywhere you can. If there's anything in your monthly bills that is not absolutely essential for your survival as a family, get rid of it. Um, I don't have any streaming services at all. 
Um, I do not have internet on my cell phone. My cell phone is not uh, a really expensive cell phone that I had to pay, pay with payments. I bought it outright. Um, I do not have car payments. Um, I don't have school loans. So these are all areas that, that I was able to cut out. And you might say, well, that's fine for you. You're already there. What about me? I'm not there. It's like, well, yes, but you have to start working on it now to see the results. What I did is I started for like two years. I made it my priority to pay off my school loans. That was my goal, pay off my school loans. And so I changed how I was spending my money. I didn't spend it here, and I used that extra money to, put, to pay here. You have to kind of get an idea of where your money's going. So I'm not talking, once again, I'm not talking about your, changing your income, getting a different job, or working more hours. I'm talking about watching how that income is turning into expense and cutting out where it's not necessary. It's like if you have a cup, okay, and there are no holes in it, no expenses, the water's not going to go anywhere. But if you drill one hole, the water's going to go out, but slowly. The idea is that it'll be slowly enough that when you get your next paycheck, you won't be living paycheck to paycheck. You won't be living out of your means. But what we want to do is we want everything our way, so we put a bunch of holes in it. And I'm not saying you guys. I'm saying I, I this is something I have to watch too. If I let myself go, I just go on Amazon and you know start adding stuff to the cart, and it's like... Hold on, <laughs> it's only five dollars here and ten dollars here, and if I get this much, I get free shipping. And if I calm down with that, reduce your expenses. Did you know that even if you get something at a good price, if you are, um, if it's if it's it's, an, it's still an expense. Like oh, I saved a hundred dollars by spending three hundred. See what I mean? So you look at the grand total, and instead of what you're saving, look at that grand total and say, wow, I spent three hundred dollars, and maybe find some way to not spend that three hundred dollars. Um, sometimes we just see what we want. Um, I mean, think of, think of this, okay? We a lot of us got money from the government last from the government last uh, last year. And uh, do you have any of that money left? See, what I did with that money is I used it to fund a um, what was it called? A sabbatical, which is like a a break from my mental health, um, which did definitely help. And I ran into a bunch of other phys physical problems, and you know it was nice to have had that that break. Um, I used it to fund one of my one of my bikes uh, for my riding, which helps with my physical and mental <laughs> needs. Uh, and um, so th there's that. And then I saved um, a couple thousand of it. And so now I have that as uh oh money. You you don't want to use your credit card as an uh oh. That's not really an uh oh. Um, another thing is you can use instead of having to buy books all the time, you can do different things like go to the library or there's also an app called Libby and you can rent book or borrow books and um, audio books for free uh, from your local library. So these are all um, things you can do. Um, so see if you can cut it anywhere. We are in an economic collapse and what happens is inflation goes up so people try to compensate by raising minimum wage and that kind of stuff and then other places just keep going up and it just it's like a game of everybody keeps raising um and so you get paid more and that pay raise does less and it's one of those things where it's not trying to get political or talk about whether there should be races or not that's not what i'm talking about at all um but in an inflated economy like Things right now are inflated. Things cost way more than they're actually worth. Um, when that happens, it's not about how much money you have because your money becomes less valuable. It's called um, uh, deflation or, um, you know, um, it's not deflation. Uh, man, I forget what it's called, but it's, a, it's the part of inflation where your money becomes less valuable than, so if that makes sense. Um, I know I'm saying it wrong. I understand the concept, although I'm not, I'm not saying it correctly. So basically, over time, your money is depreciating. Your money is depreciating, becoming less valuable. So like, for instance, if you put your money in a savings account, it's going to be worth less in 10 years than it is worth now. Um, because the interest rate isn't high enough to counter. Uh, so then what happens in the middle of an economic collapse is inflation goes sky high and your money's value just plummets. And so it's not about how much money you have. It's pretty much useless. It's about how many things you um, own without payment. We're not talking about things that you have on, on mortgage or a loan or those kinds of things. It's talking about things that you owe out, own outright. So like 
if you own your house, no payments. If you own your car, no payments. Um, so <laughs> maybe a good option would be to downsize. Maybe go to a smaller house. Um, maybe get rid of your car that's on a payment. Sell it maybe and try to get a cheaper a cheaper car. Maybe a used car that you can just buy outright. Um, you're going to have to kind of analyze your finances and see what's possible. But do everything you can to try and downsize. Get out of payments if possible. Um, oh, well, I'm buying this phone on a payment. Try to get out of it. You know, hey, um, what's going to cost if I just give this phone back and get like a cheaper model? Now, it might you might take a hit, but at least you're at least you're not giving these little expenses out every single month that you can't afford. Um, especially if you lose your lose your job or something, which there's a bunch of people places hiring, um, unless you're in one of the inflated states right now. So. Um, Cancel your cable if you have that. Um, get rid of internet. Don't sign contracts. Oh, well, if you sign contracts, you go to for cheaper. Here's the thing. In an economic collapse, you don't know what's going to happen next week. You don't know what's going to happen next month. So it's kind of important that you don't bind yourself down. Find a way. Um, haggle if you have to. Um, do whatever you can. Um, maybe switch from renting to buying. Now this, I'm going to give an addendum. The market is way inflated, as I've already mentioned, so houses are going for more than they're worth, which means you're going to be overpaying for the house. So whereas, although your mortgage will probably be cheaper than your rent, um, that's you're still going to be paying more than you should. So it's one of those things you kind of have to think about. Maybe refinancing uh, after the economy kind of winds down might be an option for you. So these are just some ideas that I had. I hope that they're helpful. I really hope that I didn't come out, come across as uh, Mr. Know-it-all and, and you're all just a bunch of idiots. I mean, I'm just trying to help um, and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm looking at my finances and saying, what can I what can I fix? The good news is for me, I've already done a lot of these things. So I've gotten rid of most of my, most of my um, payments. My mortgage is really my only payment and it's not that much. Um, I've, you know, looked into um, getting help if the, if the situation arise, arises, so I'll know, like, um, if I lose my job or anything, I'll, I'll know, like, where I can get another job. I'll, I already have things lined out, so if I lose my job, I know where to go look for a job. Um, if I can't make my payment, I know where I can go to ask for help. You know, I, I have everything ready, so, <laughs> it, I mean, there's, you, you can't prepare for every situation, but it's something that, that I think that we can all um, try. So once again, please, if you have any ideas about how you can uh, reduce your expenses, please post them in the comments below. Um, not just for other people, but for me too. There's always things that we overlook in our own um, decision making. And, you know, that's something that that, that is, you know, um, we all need to work on. Uh, I have a laptop that I'm using right now that is crap. It is dying. And I'm not going to buy another one because I, this is not the time to be doing that. Um, I... <laughs> There's a lot of things that uh, I, I, I need to upgrade, but I'm not going to because cost. Um, the PS5, Sony sent me the same. They're like, the PS5, you can get it now. I'm just like, not in this economy. I can't. <laughs> so um, anyways, please, please, please post your comments below and uh, so we can kind of uh, help each other out moving forward. And I'll try and post another video maybe next week. Um, um, my, my plan is to talk about how to lower your water bill. So 